In this video, we will look at the connection between technology and English language assessment. When I say assessment, I mean all of the ways that students get information about how well they are learning or have learned English. Assessment includes the classwork or homework that students receive marks on. It is the marked quizzes, tests, projects, and final exams in your classes, as well as the national and international English language examinations. You can see why assessment is such a large topic. Over the past years, technology has transformed the way that assessment is done in language classes, outside the classroom, and in the large-scale international tests. And this transformation has resulted in many more opportunities for students to take part in educational assessments. This can be a good thing when the assessment is designed to help students learn. There are three ways that technology has increased these good uses of assessment. First, students use technology to receive feedback on their learning. We have seen many ways that technology can provide students with access to feedback. For example, we saw vocabulary, grammar, and pronunciation apps that give students immediate feedback on their responses. Even many writing tools provide grammatical feedback on learners' writing. In these apps and tools, the assessment is built in. It is part of the pedagogical design that is intended to help students learn. And getting immediate feedback from an app is a great way for students to learn. Many students prefer to be corrected by the technology than by a teacher in front of a class. The immediate, individualized, and private feedback learners receive from learning apps adds significantly to students' opportunities to learn. Second, students use technology to learn about and practice for international English tests. For many students, studying English means preparing for years to take a large-scale international English test, such as the TOEFL or TOEIC tests. These tests typically have an effect on classroom teaching and assessment because both teachers and students focus considerable attention on preparation. These tests have been delivered online for years and preparation materials can be found on the internet. This means that students and teachers can see sample tests and can understand what students need to study. Tests such as the TOEFL are designed to provide positive washback on English language learning because they require test takers to use their English to read, write, listen, and speak. These are the same skills that we teach. Third, teachers use technology to choose or create assessments to provide information about students' learning. In the Teacher's Corner on the American English website, a section called Making Meaningful Assessments points out tests, quizzes, homework, worksheets, journals, games, and activities are all tools we use to understand to what depth our students are learning the skills we teach. This is true, but it does not mention the challenge teachers face when they want to give students a lot of assessments. The challenge is that they have to mark a lot of assessments. This is where technology is really needed. Technology cannot yet be used for all types of assessment, but it can help with many of them. Teachers can find technology tools such as Quiznet on the internet that will let them create interactive assessments for learners based on their own lesson content. Technology makes it possible to add valuable learning opportunities to your pedagogy through the use of assessments.